No, we got an update today that there was an arrest made uh, of some ISIS members potentially trying to assassinate your uncle, George W. Bush. I got a statement from Freddie Ford, his chief of staff, saying uh, that the former president has the utmost confidence in the uh, Secret Service and that uh, they've been on top of this the whole time. But, you know, again, this just goes to show us what it's like to be a Bush sometimes. How is your family coping with this stuff? Well, I'm blessed to have an amazing wife uh, of 18 years and two boys, and, and they humble me. They keep me grounded. Um, but I knew that with security threats that are out there, that there's a greater cause. That's why as a military veteran with experience in Afghanistan and in the Southern Command, that I want to bring that as the top attorney to Texas. This has always been about serving causes greater than self. I'd be honored to be the nominee to represent constitutional conservative values for the party to beat the Democrats because Rochelle Garza, the likely Democrat nominee, legalized abortion for illegal immigrants in her litigation against the Trump administration. We need somebody who's going to beat them, be above approach, but also carry forward everyday Texas values, no matter what the cost. So, so to Texas now and to your southern border, I, I do have family in Texas, and I know it's a huge issue. Um, the border crisis has been the focus of both of your campaigns, you and Paxton as well. But when it comes to illegal immigration, what can you tell our viewers that you do differently than A.G. Paxton? On day one, I would deploy a mobile prosecution unit. I'm the only candidate in this race to propose this. We can arrest illegals under state criminal trespassing claims, but yet we just obtained our first conviction first conviction in 15 months of this dangerous open border policy. Uh, so we have 12,000 National Guardsmen, we have 10,000 DPS troopers, but we can't indefinitely hold illegal immigrants. So in many respects, the state practice is just like the federal policy, and that's catch and release. And as we're seeing, that's not a deterrent to the massive amounts of illegal immigration that are occurring. I will work to overturn U.S. versus Arizona, which restricts local law enforcement from enforcing federal immigration law. I will assert Texas state sovereignty, which we have a constitutional right to do. And I will hold these bloody drug cartels accountable, working with the Congress to designate them as terrorist organizations once and for all. They are profiting close to $20 million a day. We're not doing enough to bring the fight to them. Texas Land Commissioner and current gubernator, Attorney General candidate, sorry about that, George P. Bush, thanks for being with us. Thank you all for having me. God bless. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.